Listen carefully, ladies and gents. Starting to get a little upper level math here. Big words like inequalities. What does inequality mean, David Ulrich? What is an inequality? Uh, yeah, inequalities mean things that are not equal. Now, to give you just a little bit of pressure, we have the inequality signs, which are the greater than sign. We have the we have the less than sign. Now you can put, uh, we, technically, inequality sign is not really long, but you have the greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and you have the less than or equal to. And I think we've done this before, right? We've graphed, if you saw something like this, x is greater than 6. Have we graphed that? Have we graphed that? Have we done this? No. Yes, we have. We haven't no. done the last one. Well, we're getting it. Uh, have we done this? No. no. Do we have a graph equalities? No. no. Um, I guess well, then we'll start at that point here. If I asked you to give me the solution to that, where x is greater than 6, what what could you tell? Grayson, give me a number that's bigger than 6. 7. Ava? Ben? Lex? Okay. Because there is an infinite amount of answers to this, you can't just say x equals something. If we're showing answers to inequalities, we have to graph them on a number line. Okay. And what do we know? First of all, we know that this starts at 6. Whatever this number is, you're going to put a 6 under your number line and you're going to put... I guess you would put a little tick mark there because that's what you want to do. Okay. And it was all the numbers that are greater than six. Okay. If I was making another line, this would be five, this would be four, this would be seven, this would be eight, this would be nine. I am starting at six. And which numbers were the answers? Was it seven, eight, nine, or five, four, three, two, one? It was the seven, eight, nine. So since the numbers going this way are the answers, I just darken in the line. And I put a big fat arrow on there because that big fat arrow tells me it goes forever that way. No matter what number comes after nine, is going to be an answer to that. Have we ever done this before? No. Never. Interesting. Okay. Now the difference, the difference between where x is greater than or equal to six, or x, this one is a little bit different in that it says x is greater than and or equal to six, which means this. The, the graph looks the exact same, except in this case, there was an open circle because it starts at 6 but doesn't include 6 because 6, six is not greater than 6. 6 is equal to 6, right? But it starts at 6. If I gave you 6.5, that would be an answer because that's bigger than 6. In this case here, x is greater than or equal to 6. I still put a circle there, but because x could be 6, I color that circle in because it can equal 6, and it still goes this way. I don't really need you to put these numbers in there. You definitely need to put the 6 there because I need to know where it starts. But I know going to the right are the numbers that go up. So this is the graph of x is greater than or equal to 6. This is the graph of x is greater than 6. I don't know, what my, I don't know how I can do what we're going to do here. Let me give a couple more examples. Um, so let's say n, it doesn't matter what your letter is, is less than or equal to 3. If you're asked to graph that, you just draw the number line, you put the number 3 on the bottom, whatever number this is, what's going to go down there. You put a circle, you have to decide, is that circle going to be open or is it closed? The question that answers that is, can it be equal to 3 or is it not equal to 3? If it's got that little equal sign on there, it could be. And then all the numbers that are smaller than 3 go this way. Now, if you want a helpful little hint here, ladies and gentlemen, a little check to see if you did the problem right. If you notice the inequality sign is the same as the arrow sign that you're actually putting here. If you took this away, this is kind of made of a less than sign like this. 
Same thing here. Greater than sign, greater than arrow. Greater than sign, Wait, what? Huh? Is it just Why is the letter? What letter? What do you mean? What like letter? Like N, X, or X. Because you're just you saying, you're just saying, you're, yeah, yeah, you don't know. You're just asking for any number that's greater than six. And this line. Oh. 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 Now. Lest you think that is the whole thing, and again, I'm, I'm struggling with why they would give you all of this all at once, okay? You must, um, under inequalities, we also have um, solving inequality solutions to inequalities. Another type of inequality would be this, though. It's not always going to be quite that simple. You might end up with 2x minus 4 is greater than or equal to, let's say, 8. Okay. Inequalities. Oh, good. That's one person. Inequalities, ladies and gentlemen, they get solved just like equations. Solve like equations. In other words, if this was an equal sign, I need to get the letter x by itself before I graph it. So it's going to be done the same exact way we did equations, whereas this is a multiplication and a subtraction inequality. So to solve it, I do the opposite and add and divide. Opposite, opposite. So it's going to look like this. The opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. Makes that go away. I add 4 here. That equals 12. And then you have 2x is greater than or equal to 12. How do I get x by itself? Divide by 2. Opposite of multiplication. Divide by 2. So you end up with x being greater than or equal to 6. But you need to graph that. Which means here at 6, it's a closed circle. And you draw the arrow this way because it's the numbers that are greater than four. If you look at this, you can tell that, that arrow is going that way. It's just like doing it, but then you get the little problem after. It is just like that. Let me shoot another one at you here. Um, 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3. 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3. Give you a chance to solve that. So try that on your own first. We got a couple other things we need to talk about. Thirty seconds for us. So this would look like this. Again, you need to get the letter x by itself. Opposite of subtracting is adding. So you end up with 2x being less than or equal to 8. How do I solve that from there? Divide by 2. Divide by the 2. Divide the 2. So x is less than or equal to 4. Um, graphing it here at four. It's a closed circle. Let's go. Okay. So, can we put the graph in our paper? You always. If it says to solve and graph, then just 
Now, let me throw one more at you here. Seven is less than, write this one down, we have to talk about this, x minus eight. Now, you'll notice about this one, there's something a little different about it in that the x is on the other side when it usually is. With the equations, it doesn't matter. If there were no inequality sign there, that you could solve this like whatever we've been doing. It with. But with inequalities, it does matter. Okay, because the little arrow trick that I gave you won't work this way because the x is on the opposite side. So if you see something like this, here's your thought process. Number one, you can solve it the normal way first. In other words, I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to add 8. Okay, I'm going to add 8 to 7. I get 15 is less than or equal to x. Okay. If it was just an equation, it wouldn't matter. You can put the x over here and the 15 over there, and it doesn't change anything. But when it's an inequality, it does change something. If you go back to whatever, second grade or whenever, remember Mr. Alligator eats the bigger thing? Yeah. Okay. If, if the x switches places, it doesn't change whether it's bigger or less than the other side. So Mr. Alligator still wants to eat the x. If you flip-flop these places... You have to flip flop Mr. Alligator because he still wants to eat the big one. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that's the, you can change places, but it changes the inequality signs to their opposites. Over oh, eight. Max, why are you yelling at me? Who else? Is the only people not to listen when I say. Okay. So then, once you get this, then you can graph it like this. Here at 15, is it open circle or closed circle? Closed. Closed. And it goes off in this direction. Okay. You get that? So you have to look at the opposites of those things. Got that? Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I'm going to throw an IXL thing at you, but it's not there just yet. Give me two seconds. No, no, no. Thank you. 